Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to just make a quick video to talk about the update cycles that Apple is currently on. We're on iOS 11.4. This is the first beta on my iPhone 10. If I go here to about, you'll see down here at the bottom, we're on iOS 11.4. I also have it running on my iPhone 7 Plus right here. Both of them are running the beta, and it's been kind of what I would expect of a first beta. Now, I did do a follow-up video on this, and... Like I said, it's basically the same. It's running okay, but not great. It does freeze up from time to time, and I do have to close some apps if they freeze up. It's just the way it is in my experience, and if I have a problem, I make sure that I report it in feedback. Make sure you do the same if you're running a beta, but the update cycle has gone to two weeks. We're back to the two-week cycle. Unfortunately, for those of us that like updates, that cycle is going to be two weeks. Maybe it will speed up to one week as we get closer to the last betas, beta one, two, three, four, five, however many we have. And iOS 12 we'll see in June. So maybe we'll go back to the one or two week cycle then. It's hard to say what Apple's doing right now. They haven't been extremely transparent as far as the updates go. But we do know that things seem to be getting better. They're focusing more on quality. And if they're going to take two weeks to do that, I'm okay with that. It's just it stinks to use a a poor experience for that time. But Apple does warn against using it on your everyday device like I'm doing on the iPhone 10, so uh, I guess that's okay. Now, many of you suggested different email apps the other day. I tried out Spark, I'm doing that right now. I've tried just about every email app there is, uh, maybe to do a video about it, I don't know. Let me know if you wanna see that. And I wanna do this just as a follow-up to the iOS updates and also, uh, to just get some feedback from you, what you think Apple's doing, and what features would you like to see in iOS 12 as far as new specific features. There's some things that many of you have said anywhere from a dark mode to something else. I'd just love to hear if you have any really clever ideas. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, there's not much more to say. I just wanted to do a quick follow-up and talk about that two-week re release cycle. This isn't unusual. It's just the way it is right now, unfortunately. And hopefully we'll be, ba be back to one week or less later on. Let me know your thoughts again in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.